Alright you guys, so here's the first day of DIYs. I'm gonna start the video. It's gonna be pretty quick, but uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. First things first, you're gonna need a bone. I'm using a raccoon femur that I got in that Eager Bones haul. There's some green stuff on it, but that's okay. And uh, just a femur. Very easy, very small. Uh, I don't know, it's like the size of my pinky, my entire pinky slash hand. Um, the next thing will be some sort of mask to cover your face because we are going to be drilling into a bone today. Um, so you're going to want something to make sure that bone dust is not going to get into your face, into your lungs or anything. Any sort of, anytime you're really drilling anything that is, um, biological other than maybe like a vegetable, which I don't know why you would be doing that. But regardless, you're going to want some sort of, um, mask so you don't get any, anything in your lungs because that would be the worst. Um, the next thing is going to be some crafting wire. I don't know what gauge this is, but it is pretty thin wire. Focus on anything but my carpet, of course. Yeah, let's see. I don't know, just like a thin, really thin wire. Yeah, whatever. Um, I have wire cutters and um, just some sort of like jewelry pliers that I use for when I make jewelry. And finally, a Sharpie. Um, also, you're probably going to want to get a drill and probably a ruler. So that's cool. Okay guys, so first things first, you're going to take your bone and you're going to align it which way you want to make the pendant. Um, like some people would want it like to go like this. I don't know if you can see that, just um, going vertically, but I'm going to actually do mine horizontally like this, and it's going to be on a necklace. Um, so once you figure out which orientation you want your bone to be in, mine again is like this, um, you're going to make two, one or two little dots depending on where you do it, because if you do it this way, you only have to do one like right here, but I'm not doing it that way, because I just don't want to do that one. And um, if you're doing it this way, you're going to make one about here and one about here. So depending on, again, which orientation you want it, you're gonna have to do either one or two drilling hole things. Um, once you figure it out, you're gonna make two little dots with a Sharpie. I'm doing mine on the inside of the bone where, cause there's two sides, like this side kinda, this side slopes outwards while this side slopes in. So I'm gonna lay it like this. So the, this part is on the top. Like, so it's like a, like this part that slopes down and up is facing me. So then I'm going to take this, and this is where you, if you want a ruler, you can do it. I'm one of those people who kind of just eyeballs things all the time. Sometimes it gets upset, but when things aren't straight, but at this point, it's kind of an organic piece, so I'm not too worried. Um, anyways, you're just going to take this and then dot it accordingly where you think. I'm doing this because this is such a tiny bone. Well, I mean, it's not super tiny, but it's tinier than what... Um, some people might be using. I'm just gonna do mine where it's uh, the most sturdy. So I'm gonna make a dot. Oh, my Sharpie would work like that. Make a dot like that. So if you can see, just dot there, dot there, and that's where I'm gonna be drilling through. So. Once you do that, I have to go get my drill. I'm gonna go do that and then come back and film because um, I don't have the capability, like the dr drill skills to film and talk while I'm doing it. Um, if you don't know, if you're like me and are kind of incompetent around power tools, um, make sure you get like someone who knows how to do it. Like I can, I can use a drill. I had to take a class, or I took a class in which I had to use, figure out how to use a drill. It's terrible. Um, but. Oh gosh, I can't just a lot of text today. This is irritating. I'm trying to film on my phone. People are just <laughs> anyways, um with whoever is using the drill, make sure they have um a mask on and if you're gonna be like standing over their shoulder watching like I do because I like to vulge and like just kinda like peer and be really creepy when whenever I have like specialty drill work being done. Um make sure you have a mask too. So depending on how many people are involved, get one or two or three or ten masks accordingly. Okay, just so you guys get an idea of what I used on the drill, I used a 1 16th burr. It's real tiny. 
uh, compared to the other ones, and that made a hole that looked like that, and it goes through both sides. So. Cool. So just be careful when you drill, and again, if you need assistance, ask someone, because I'd rather not be telling you all to go use drills and then have you drill through a finger and end up in the hospital and be like, Batty told me so, and like, freak out. So, yeah, drill, drill time. Fun, power tools, yeah. Okay, so next I'm taking about a foot of uh, this wire, and you can't really see it, but maybe if I hold it, I don't know. I do have wire with me. I actually do. You're going to thread it through your bone. Um, might take a little bit of finagling. Come on, I can see. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to do one on either side, and then I will show you how I wrapped it. Alright, so now that you have your femur all wrapped up with jewelry wire, you can attach it to some sort of chain, or that's what I'm going to be doing. And, um, you know, you just loop it through and then tie it off, and then you can crimp it if you want. I don't know if I'm going to, but this is what it looks like thus far. Nice and wrapped. Okay, so here's the um, finished look. I just put it on the chain, and I put it on my neck. Uh, I, all I did was wire wrap the wire in between the chain links, and there you go, instant necklace. Um, if you are going to be doing it on, like the way I did it, um, there's a way where you can break the chain, the links in the actual necklace chain and then reattach it with wire, but I thought that was going to be too much work for me, because I'm lazy. Um, so I just attached it to a chain I already had, and it kind of does this thing in the back. Um, but... Just make sure you know that the chain will be shorter when you put it on, so hopefully that isn't a deal breaker for anyone and you don't get a chain that is too short and end up having like a choker kind of thing going on. But, ooh, that's my hand. Here we go. Ta-da. Alright guys, I hope you are having a good day. I'll see you in